Hello everyone. On our planet there is a huge number of animals and insects, each of which needs its own home. Some are content with crevices in the ground or in trees, and others build their own shelters, but among these builders, there are species that erect amazing structures. And today, I offer you a look at the most unusual houses in the animal world, the reality of which is hard to believe. Ants. To date, about 13,000 species of ants are known. They live almost everywhere and differ from each other in size, shape, color, and even character. But what unites them is that they are all social insects, living in families of several dozen to several million individuals. Almost all of them build themselves anthills and the larger the family, the correspondingly larger and the house. Ants are excellent builders, as well as the most evolutionarily advanced insects from the point of view of scientists. Their families have complex social groups with division of labor and advanced communication systems. They can coordinate well when performing complex tasks that are beyond the capabilities of a single individual. It is not surprising that they build themselves a whole city underground, which only looks like a pile of twigs and needles. Inside such an anthill is located many different chambers, connected to each other by various passages and each of these rooms has its own purpose. In the upper part of the anthill, located on the ground, there is a solarium, which is heated by sunlight and allows ants to warm up in cool weather, and below there are warehouses with grain, wintering chamber, meat pantries with live caterpillars, children's rooms where eggs and larvae of insects are located, royal chambers where the uterus lives, a cemetery where dead brethren are taken, garbage pits, and even a special barn, where ants guard aphids, which give them sweet juice. But to contain all this in suitable conditions, ants also dig separate tunnels to the surface, which serve as a ventilation system and allow you to ventilate the city, which allowed scientists from Brazil to pour one of the abandoned anthills concrete. On its pouring they took about 10 tons of cement, three days of work and a month had to wait, that would cement solidified underground, only after which they began excavations. The area of such a metropolis of ants was 50 square meters with a depth going into the ground at 8 meters, to excavate such a city they spent a few weeks while most of the land was excavated by excavator. In order to build such an anthill, millions of ants had to drag to the surface about 40 tons of soil and scatter it around a kilometer from their homes, such a structure is equivalent to the Great Wall of China on a human scale. Caddisflea or Trichoptera This species of insects inhabits almost the entire planet, but it got its name because it likes to live in shallow water bodies. Adults are not remarkable, they look like nocturnal moths of dim brown or gray color, but the larvae caddisflea, which feeds on Alapka, from the last issue, are remarkable for the fact that they live exclusively at the depth of the reservoir, in crystal clear water and themselves build a house from the materials they find there. With the help of a sticky thread, the larva glues the materials in the form of a cone-shaped tube, in which it lives until adulthood. It is curious that in this stage, the larva lives about two years, which is the longest in the life of the insect and that is why they build themselves such a fortress to camouflage in time from the predator. The appearance of the house depends on the body of water in which the insect lives. For construction, it uses almost everything, pieces of twigs, leaves, algae, shells, sand and even small pebbles. The larva selects material that is suitable not only in appearance, but also in size, so that the house would not interfere with movement. The result is a strong dwelling in which you can hide at any time, leaving at the entrance only the head, which is covered with chitin armor. Swiftlet These birds belong to the swift family and like all swifts, swiftlets spend most of their lives in flight, and they are so agile that they are able to drink and even mate while flying. Such dexterity allows them to get food without problems, as these birds feed exclusively on insects. But the distinguishing feature of swiftlets from other swifts is that they orient themselves with the help of location echoes, just like bats. Nature awarded them with this ability, as these birds live in caves, where they return after daytime hunting and make loud clicking sounds in order to find their way to their nest in absolute darkness. But another distinctive ability of these birds is that they have learned to build their nests entirely from saliva, which contains a large amount of protein, because of which the mucus becomes viscous and quickly freezes in the wind. It takes more than a month to build one such nest, which is only a few centimeters in diameter. But swiftlet nests are of great value not only for the bird itself. 
In China their nests are considered a delicacy, they are used to make soup, stuffed with meat and even added to coffee, and dishes from swiftlet nests can be found only in elite restaurants of the country. Tetraedon. This species of fish was discovered quite recently. Until 2012, scientists for 20 years puzzled and could not explain where on the bottom of the Sea of Japan from where unusual circles with a diameter of about 2 meters. But everything turned out to be much simpler than they thought. These small fish, only about 12 centimeters long, have an unsightly appearance, and that would somehow attract the attention of the opposite sex, they had to become artists on the seabed. In order to attract a female, male tetraedon plows the seabed with their fins, creating a complex circular design, the center of which is the family nest of the future couple. It takes a week for a male to build such a pattern, while he does not break from work not for a minute, creating wave-like ridges, which in the future will muffle the ocean current and protect the offspring. Sugar Bees Bees are the hardest working insects. They fly several kilometers in a day to collect nectar and bring it to the hive. To date, about 20,000 species of these insects are known, and each species is unique in its own way and differ only in size and color from each other. But in Australia, there is a species of bee that is unlike any other. They build spiral honeycombs, and their hive is a spiral tapering to the top, which is twisted clockwise. Scientists suggest that this honeycomb structure allows for maximum efficiency in filling the space, and also helps improve air circulation, as standard-shaped honeycombs are poorly ventilated. But in addition to all this, sugar bees have also thought of an excellent defense of their hive from uninvited guests. The hive has only one permanently guarded entrance inside, which is covered with a sticky antibacterial resin to ensure that no harmful bacteria are introduced upon entering. Do you want more interesting and informative? Then subscribe to the channel to learn all the most interesting things that happen on our planet and beyond.